Where's the mat? Alright, good morning, y'all. I'm trying to get my little bag together because I was sitting out and did not get my bag together last night. So, that's what I get. I'm about to get on this road. And about a 40 minute drive. I wish I had my little thing to go at the top right here. Um, what you call that thing? The, what you call it? What I was saying was before I was rudely interrupted by my car, music, <laughs> it cut off on me. But basically I was saying that um, I wanted to put my phone up here on my little um, dashboard. But the one I originally had up here for my dashboard, it broke a couple of months back. And I ended up buying this like little one from Burlington. It was supposed to be an armor all. They make like car wash stuff, I believe. But I don't know, it was flicked out. It was sitting up here on my dashboard. So I ended up getting like a, I ordered a new one from Amazon, the one that my husband has for his car. So we shall see how that one work when I get it. But I don't know, I'll talk to y'all a little bit later when I'm in some light. Cause I'm on my second week, technically last week. I'll tell you about that later. Well, I'll go ahead and just express it. But last week, we had a hurricane, hurricane, hurricane Helene. And um, what's over here shaking? All right, back. Okay, it's a, it was a hurricane, hurricane Helene um, that came through Thursday and Friday. And of course, we never know how things work with hurricanes. The weatherman can have all the predictions, but I mean, it don't have to happen like that in all areas. I know some areas did have some power outages from what my friends were saying as well. But we didn't have any power outages over here um, where I live. So I was very thankful for that because a couple of years ago, um, what was that, 2022 of January, we had a tornado come through. And when I tell you we was out of power for a week, hot mess, hot mess. But we made it through, we here. So I pray for all the families that were affected from that storm. Uh, it didn't go the way that it predicted it was gonna go. It did not go that way. So um, it went toward like the east coast of Georgia instead of ripping right through Atlanta. But I am heard that Atlanta still had some flooding because how Atlanta's just not equipped for all these new comings and piping lines and things like that. Anyway, we're not gonna get on that. But I heard they had some bad flooding, but prayers to all families that were affected and I hope everything, you know, goes well with them um, soon. But I am on my, with that being said, I'm on my way to work. This is my second week um, working. And I'm about to get off this phone because I'm not supposed to be on this phone. <laughs> I got the steering wheel in my hand, got the phone. I'm telling them myself. Anyway, um, I'm on the side road where I live at, so I'm not like on main traffic yet. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm on my second week to work in the NICU. So excited. We have a whole bunch of like classroom work today. Cause, um, and we got some makeup stuff to do too. So I'll get back with y'all later where y'all can see me better and some light and we'll touch bases later y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm leaving work now. I just got out of day, well this is week two, day one of my residency program. Today was very interesting. It was fun feel, I believe. Well, it was, I don't wanna say fun feel, but it was a lot of information that I had to uh, learn that I did not know. <laughs> so I thought that was cool but I'll talk to y'all more because remember I had told y'all earlier I don't have a little thing for my phone so I don't want to be driving with the phone up to me but I just want to give you like an update of how it was when I came out so alright alright y'all so yeah this is um I hope everybody's well but I'm leaving work now the time is what 1 15 I just left Everybody else is like doing like CPR stuff and like BLS stuff and I'm, I need to go home and do some more work and, and I'm glad I'm getting out early because oh my god it doesn't look like I'm beating any traffic. I thought I was going to be able to beat some traffic but y'all see it moving slow over there. So I don't dang know. 
<laughs> but anyway, I called myself leaving two hours early from um, the classwork. Sorry. Let me take my badge off. Hold. I called myself leaving early so I can kind of beat the traffic because I still got like classroom stuff to do when I get home because I was procrastinating this weekend and it was beautiful outside and we started to have this little fall weather up in Georgia so I was procrastinating and stuff but uh yeah I'm walking to my car now but um it was cool today had a lot going on. Somebody is smoking marijuana on damn hospital grounds. Lord have mercy. Anyway, <laughs> the things we do. Anyway, what I'm saying is, I'm leaving work. I am about to get in my car now and try to be a little traffic. Hopefully, 75 is not that bad. Oh my breath. Hopefully 75 is not that bad. So I can get on down the road because I still have modules to do with the job that I currently have. That I, it's just a lot of work. Not a lot, but it's a, enough. So I couldn't do it at work, the extra work that I have to do that's due before three o'clock tomorrow. Tomorrow is a self-study day. So, I'll probably take that time to talk with y'all a little bit more about that. But it's going good, y'all, so far. Let me get in this car. Actually, I think I'll probably pick up later and tell y'all more about what's going on in detail when I reach the house and get situated and work on my modules and stuff. I'm probably gonna sit outside <coughs> Cause it's so nice and beautiful today. Oh, I love fall here in Georgia. But I'm probably gonna sit outside. Um, because it's nice to kind of read my books. And those are hours that we use for our residency. So anyway, I'll see y'all a little bit. The music you playing loud can make you deaf. Let me tell y'all something. Hey, y'all. So I had to put this up in the bun because all that long hair is 80 something degrees outside. It was too much going on. So I had to put this hair up. But I was just telling my son, I don't know if y'all have this experience too, but he is 18. And he walks around with these damn earbuds in his ear all the time, y'all. But that's no problem. But why do I got to hear it? Because if I hear it, that means it's too loud, right? And I went to a audi. I was just telling him I went to an audiologist audiology class so we can learn about NICU ears. I mean, sorry. I went to an audiology class to learn about newborn or preemie ears, and even the alarms. How important it is to cut the alarms off right when we hear them. It's 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 a lot of stuff that I've learned in this past two weeks. Okay, but yeah. But I learned that the decibels or de diesel decibels, I think it's decibels, I might be saying wrong, the sound waves that we hear, even at this volume that I'm talking to you is too loud in the NICU. I need to be basically whispering. I need to be whispering. Okay? And with that being said, children ears do not stop developing or people ears until we turn the age of 26. 26 y'all and y'all know that these ipods earpods or airpods whatever they call are new this new technology in recent years so if you listen let me see you might can't hear i don't know if you can hear it, but that's that boy ears my child is 18 and he be having, and they said, your hearing can change. She said, your hearing can change. 
until then. Going to also what was very important, which I thought something I totally learned, those sound um, little things, white sound noise machines that they sell in the store. I heard that you should not use them with your baby all the time. Now, it's okay to use, they said you pick your battles. Because some babies may need it according to their disorder. I don't want to go into the type of disorder. But some babies are sued or harder to sue due to their diagnosis. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. But we do have, or they do have sound, wait, sound music, those white noise uh, machines. But they only use it to see if it outweighs the benefit. You know what I'm saying? You only use it when you're supposed to. Say, hey, calm down. Calm down. I would see these. Uh, you hear me? Hey, hey, you hear me? Calm down. You're doing too much. I would see these parents with these um, white noise, you know, the little machines for your baby. The sound waves. You, just look it up. And I would see them. And look, Tavis, why are you so loud? I'm not trying to be loud. It's glass. <laughs> I'm talking. Anyway, I will see them, y'all. I will see them with it on. They said if you use it, if you choose to use it, choose it wisely. And as soon as your baby is asleep, turn it off. That's what I was told to. So if you're going to use it, the the all just hates them. She said, don't buy them. Throw them in the trash. Take it. She said, I'm going to take it back. She said, throw it in the trash. <laughs> she was very funny, but stern, and she knew her stuff. She had very, she was very animated, and she had character. She's been, she loves, she loves what she do. She's one of them people that came by and talked to us. But I did not know that. And sometimes if we, we do things to ourselves that affects us in the long run. So I'm just letting you know, when you be blasting your music in your car with your three-year-old let's turn it down a notch okay or your 10-year-old or anybody under 26 you know if you if you grown like me past 26 you know the little you know up in age your hearing has already developed so go ahead and blast on but let's try to save the children eardrums because your hearing is always changing that's why it's very important to get those hearing screens for these babies when I say babies, I mean children and stuff like that. But, I mean, at my son's age at this point, like, it's so much I can do. I mean, I, all I can do is educate him and knowledge him, but he ain't going to listen. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Tay? You're not going to listen, are you? Listen. That's the stuff where I made tacos last night. Did you eat tacos? You want to say hey to the vlog? Yeah. But anyway, y'all, he not going to listen. But I came back on here because I just got home. It wasn't that bad getting home today. Um, It was like an hour. When I left, I clocked out at one seventeen, which the, I was supposed to clock out at 3.30. But they, I mean, it was a, it was a I guess a catch up or orientation, like getting us all on the loop type day. So if we had everything done, then keep in mind. The place I currently work at, I already work there. So some of the things that some of the residents had to do, I don't have to do. Like for instance, like um, CPR and AccuCheck's, those those glucose machines, I don't have to do that. I don't have to be checked out because I was already in the system. So stuff like that. So when I left, they were working on that when I left. But also y'all look, I just wanted to show y'all. So I walked into this, but if I knew this, I would have like, open it in front of y'all because look i came in here and it was like sitting on my counter in the kitchen this box right here i came in the kitchen and i was like oh my gosh what is this box i opened it up and my sissy my sister i have two sisters y'all but I have a sister named Keisha. I have a sister named Stacy. But uh, my Stacy bought me a bog bag. I have.
have a ball bag already that she wanted. That I've been asking. Look, I told her what I wanted for my graduation gift. <laughs> and I want a sage big ball bag. So I thought I was going to use that as a bag to take, you know, to work. But it, and when I got it, I was like, dang, why is this hey bag guys. so big? <laughs> the cock I said, why is this bag so big? I can't do all this. But anyway, they set up security at my job, which they should have set up security. Been set up security, but they have not. So... Sometimes you have to unzip your bags and things like that. But also, too, I had in mind, I was like, ooh, I'm going to, like, you know how when you take your stuff around, since I'm going to be on the floor, because my previous job, y'all know, if you've been following me for a while, you watch the vlogs. My previous job, yes, I was an LPN, but I worked on the mother baby unit, but I only was with the babies. I solely worked in the nursery with other RNs, anchors, and they were in charge of the whole floor of babies. So I will assist them and I was in charge of all the circumcisions and sometimes the whole circumcisions of the mother baby floors. We had several floors of mother of the hospital I work at is humongous, y'all. Um it's one of the honestly, it's one of the most how can I say this? It's a it's a prestigious hospital, second in the United States that delivers the most babies. So I, I will say that. If you know, you know. But still, you wanna come say hey to the people? But my sister, come here, come here, boy. Say hey. Say hey. This my boo. -boo. He just turned three. Ow, oh, Silk! Get my little naps. <laughs> Silk just turned three on uh Silk, you gonna look at look at the camera. <laughs> Silk turned three on the 23rd of September. So he's still a little baby, baby. He's a young adult now. But anyway, um, I think he's gonna go upstairs with Kyle. Call him Kyle. You going upstairs? Y'all going upstairs? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let me get back to this. I'm all over the place. But anyway, um, yeah, so back to my sister. So I walked in, y'all. She done got me a mini bog bag. <laughs> Isn't this cute? This is so cute. Look at this. It is the baby bog bag. And I got it for so like when I'm sitting at the nursing station or when I want to go, I feel like it's a good idea. It's a good idea instead of using the fanny packs because I'm not a fanny pack girl to use one of these. Um, I was gonna use it. Why is it doing this? What? Can I, can I fix the things? Like, I need to look this up. Anyway, why is it not? Anywho, I mean, need to look it up and see if I can fix it. Cause it looks kind of flicked Like why are these backwards or something? But anyway, uh, I guess I gotta play with it, move it around. And I wonder if I can pop it out. Anywho, um, with that being said, y'all, yeah, why is it like this? Okay. Oh, there you go. I guess you gotta flip it to you. See how I did right. Okay. There you go. I think. There we go. Okay. So it did right. So. Um, I said I wanted to use one of these, you know, to carry like my little knickknacks in, my little snacks in the daytime. Like, I don't need nothing big. I just need my lunch bag. And I mean, I ain't got no, I don't need no big old shit nigga. I had a book bag at first carrying around. But then when Joint Commission and them came in, they started acting funny about book bags and stuff like that. And having them in your unit, you got to go in the break room and all that stuff. Anybody trying to do all that when you just need something real quick. So... I asked my sister for a bob bag and I have, like I said, I had one because that's what I had on the last vlog when we went to um, the cruise. So I had that big one um, that I got and I was like, oh, I don't want to carry around this big old thing. It really looks like a beach bag. I mean, I would carry it where else, but it's nowhere to really store it unless I go to the break room. It's too much. So she ended up giving me this little small little baby bob bag. I'm gonna put my and it comes with like a um bitty bog. It's called not baby, but it's called a bitty bog. 
and she got it in black and i'm gonna get some little charms put on there let me not get outrageous but i probably will get some charms and i think it's sanitary too i think because you could like wipe it down you know if you need to the bottom to keep infection down especially i'm burning babies and stuff but i plan on just sitting on my you know my little table or something and you know we can't use stethoscopes in the nicu to keep that infection we can't bring our own stethoscope, so we have to use theirs and just sanitize and like that. I think that's all Nick used. I'm not sure, but I know that's for sure. The one I work in, I'm, yeah, it, I, well, I know two hospitals. The one I had my clinicals in that I went to down at Albany and the one um, that I work at now is like this. So maybe all Nick use are like that to keep down infection. But... Um, yeah, I really like it. And it comes with like the little like pouch inside, y'all. You see the pouch? And um, that's that. It's cute. I'm gonna put my little like, you know, feminine products in here or um, a little snack when I need one with lunch. That, you know, of course I'm gonna have my lunch bag too. And my water, I can put my little water bottle right here, like right here in the corner, put my little, gum or snacks right here a little popcorn when i'm ready to pop it in my mouth go to the break room real quick you know just or some candy or something um or um i mean they really don't want you to eat like that you gotta go to break room but i mean it's candy i mean you have look you know wash your hands real good eat wash your hands again i mean you gotta make it work Especially if you got sick babies and stuff. But, um, yeah, I like it a lot. Thank you, Stacey. <laughs> I've seen some charms on Amazon that I want to get with this. But, anywho, that's enough of me yapping. I've been standing here for a minute. I'm about to... I need to go upstairs and finish some work. I want to go wash my car outside, but I'm off tomorrow. Technically, I'm not off. I have some modules to do when they give it to us, but I still have some class coursework to do from work. I still got some coursework to do from work from last week that I didn't finish doing. And I need to get them in before the time roll in. So I really want to wash my car. But I really need to get upstairs to finish that work. I might do both because it's early. It's 3.15. Like I said, I got off work. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this on the unit. My first day with my preceptor is this coming Sunday. So, the... Oh. The 6th. So that would be my first day on the floor without my classmates and my educator. So it'll be Sunday. So y'all know I'm going to update y'all on that too. But in the meantime, I'm about to go. I think I'm going to do some work. I think I'm going to do some work and then go and wash my car. Because I mean... It's still early. And I'm not cooking tonight because I cooked yesterday. And they still got leftovers from yesterday, which was Taco Tuesday. Eat that. Or you can fish your own stuff. I'm I'm off duty tonight. It's a Wednesday. I just I don't I'm actually let me tell you what I'm about to drink in a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. So I don't know if y'all try these or if y'all drink or not, but they have these things called On The Rocks. I got this from the liquor store. On The Rocks. Um, this one's premium cocktails. It's the margarita, so they have different ones. This was $10. So I got it yesterday, um, but it's tequila. Yeah, of course, well, I don't know all margaritas. Yeah, margaritas made out of tequila. But yeah, I'm gonna try it. Um, I think F and Vodka is not in here, but he has like, I don't know if it's a 50 cent thing, but I see F and Vodka, and if I'm not mistaken, I think F and Vodka is by 50 cent, or he branded with them or something. I'm not sure, but not this particular one, because then this one is um, 
Plata, Tequila, and Triple Sick. So, I was going to try. Got 20% alcohol in it, 40% proof. I mean, I ain't trying to get messed up, but you know. Hey, that's what it's for. So, I'll reach back with y'all later. Either way, you'll see something. You can see me doing some work or a car. I don't know. We'll figure it out. See y'all in a minute. to go wrong thing to do go outside and wash my car like I did the one thing Al told me not to do which is don't wash your car when it's hot outside and that's what I did cause when I left work it was windy and stuff like I don't know like it felt cool cause I even went walked you know, it, even without getting in my car, it felt cool. I get here. I guess it's like 10 degrees hotter because I am south of my job. I don't damn know. I'm, I'm over-exaggerating, but with the degree. But I get here and it's, you know, hot. And before I can get to each side, the soap is drying up. So I can't even wipe my car down properly after I rinse it off. So I just stopped and... Yeah, what y'all saw is what y'all saw. And I just rinsed it off and let it be because it kept drying up. And I was like, why am I doing this right now? And then my husband got a new hose. He got a new hose that um I hate it. We usually get like the rubber hose, but they be cheap. If y'all know a sturdy hose that doesn't kink and is great, please let us know because we need it. It's like if you want like a... We don't want nothing too heavy, but we don't want nothing too, like, kinky. We don't want nothing to kink up. So, he wanted to hose the water to grass, but I like a multi-purpose hose or multi-purpose stuff. Because how the way I was moving and dodging, trying to move that dang hose to wash the car with the soap suds, it was ridiculous. With my rubber hose that I had that broke, I mean, I, it don't matter which way I moved. When I say rubber, the flimsy one, it like, it deflates when the water's out of it. So I don't know if y'all seen those before, but I think they was like ads seen on TV, but we got it from Home Depot. But it was just cheap, the little metal part to it kept coming loose. So I don't know, but if y'all have any idea where we can get a hose from, please let us know that it's all purpose, water, grass, everything. Anywho. Um, this vlog is coming to an end. 
I am so glad y'all tuned in. If you stayed this long, thank you. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe so I can get some more content out there and it just be it just be fabulous, y'all. So I appreciate y'all. Um Lindsay's World. Uh, we're about to um well I'm about to do some more modules. Then I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna take me a bath. I sure am. And I'm gonna drink what I just told you I was gonna drink earlier. I'm gonna relax. So I'm gonna do a couple of modules and be done. All right, y'all. See y'all on the next one. Bye.